So hello and welcome fellow banknote collectors and today we're looking at the second two generation uh, $50 banknote. So all the current banknotes come in these folders. You get the two generations which has two banknotes and that consists of the older banknote and the newer banknote. And you also get the single banknote which is just the new generation banknote. And uh, these ones would cost, um, I think they were like $130, something like that when they first come out. I'm not too sure if Australia's Post still sells them. And some coin shops probably do. I would say, because the banknotes are uncirculated, the, the values of these would go up. But... Uh, let's have a look at the actual folder itself. So it's a nice yellow color. Uh, so the only other one I have is the five dollar. I didn't get the ten, twenty, or the hundred. I just don't think these are really going to go up in value, unless the older banknote is one that's desired. So we have a swan. So the black swan. They're pretty common in Australia. And then we have a wattle. And if we turn it over, we have the first banknote. And here we have information. The release of the third of Australia's next generation of banknotes continues with the introduction of the cutting security technology that will keep Australia banknotes at the forefront of polymer innovation. Care specs existing $50 design that have been included color size and people portrayed and the security features to talk about here yeah but you know canada come up with this um clear security window with uh all these images on it first these metallic uh reflections so i don't think australia developed any of those I assume on a lot of other banknotes. Uh, this window, yeah, Australia did develop that type of security feature. And it should be UV, but UV is common on banknotes. On the back, we have to keep Australia's banknote secure. Blah, blah, blah. Take note of the distinctive top to bottom window, flying black swan versus and rolling color effect. So rolling color you see here the color is rolling down so that's what they mean a rolling color effect as well as on the central image as well in the clear window and yeah so there's the black swan oh, I have one down near the creek where I live and here's some information so you can go to RBA website, have a look it up. But I don't think the RBA itself uh, sells these. They uh, give it to third parties to sell it. Because the RBA doesn't print them either. No printing Australia does. So they're the, the second party. And then the third party is uh, whoever sells it. So let's have a look at the banknotes. So when I got this set, this one did not uh, contain any banknotes. They just used it as a padding for another type of banknote that I've got. So obviously they took these banknotes out. Not too sure what they've done with it. Maybe they grade them. Maybe they sell it. Don't know. So here I have put in a uncirculated 2012 banknote. $50 banknote. Uh, this one is one of the lower print ones, that's why I put it in there. And this is a BK general prefix. So I reckon if you're going to get one of these and you want to make it more valuable, uh, put a banknote with a lower print run or a first and last prefix, obviously uncirculated. Uh, it will be more valuable if it was the last prefix of a banknote because oh, they get overlooked. And a lot of them get missed. First prefix, AA, a lot of people know how to find that. Last prefix, a lot of people 
I don't know what the last prefix is until a few years later when a lot of them have been destroyed. And then we have the $50. This one has the, uh, the printing mistake. So I won't call it, uh, do I call it an error? Mm, probably not, I'll just call it variety because it was pretty much deliberate. Someone deliberately didn't check their spelling. So this is a general prefix in 2018. So these ones had about 6 million of each prefix. So it's actually a quite a large run. Uh, the 2021 I've seen is about... Uh, four million So that one's going to be common so if you wanted to make this set valuable then the second banknote you need to put in a low print run so Currently now I'll probably swap this out for a 2021, but I haven't seen any I haven't got any 2020 banknotes uh, Yet probably a few years before I get those the or you can wait a few years later and get another print one which might be lower but you know when you go to the bank and get $50 banknotes a lot of them are still the older banknotes so they're not withdrawing them from circulation they're just letting them be fully used so to use their life and these ones would be replacing them so yeah, I'll probably get about half and half now. And in my area of northern Melbourne, a lot of them are still the 2018s in uncirculated condition. So, at the moment, these ones are pretty much on your face value. So, anyway. And I did sell another 2012 in uncirculated condition for $80. So, those ones are slowly going up in value. So a lot of people don't actually keep $50 notes in uncirculated condition. Uh, you pretty much have to wait quite a few years before they start to increase in value. So, what do I think of this? Yeah, I think it's okay. But, what I believe that the Reserve Bank should have done is they probably should have produced... Uh, a special banknotes of the first and the last probably special serial number or maybe just used AAs or the last prefix as well with the 50s maybe they should have done a special print run no maybe change the letter the second letter to over I think M so maybe N or O and make it a special banknote for this folder then it would have been more collectible because as far as I know these are not really too popular because they just contain general banknotes that are not really interested to people or what they could have done is they could have uh, just overprinted the front of the banknote or the back with I don't know, a date so the 18th of October 2018 and the same with that one and that would make these folders more desirable. But apart from that, I, I do like the folders. They're quite nice. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to keep that folder. And maybe replace the bank notes in the future. And with my $5 folder, which is it in here. No, oh, I've got one somewhere. I will... Uh, I've got a 2019 banknote, so I'm going to swap that over with the 2016 because uh, that's a, a lower print run. And the $5 banknotes that are in the $5 one are 2015, so that's a good note to have in the first place. Anyway, here's where I'll leave the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like these two generation folders and my suggestions on what you can do to probably increase the value of them. Now an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.